Hey there, and welcome to On the Couch with Fouch. This is the, I'm not really sure, maybe like 15th video I've done. Um, I have had the, the pleasure to interview so many of the guys that I sing with throughout the year, but today is the interview I've been most looking forward to yeah, out of all of them. Wisely. <laughs> <laughs> you guys told me that you wanted to hear from my wife, Candace. And so we put the question, well, let me rephrase that. I asked her for her permission to do the video first to make sure she was okay with it. And she agreed to come on the, on the couch for the interview. So this is my wife, Candace, <laughs> and I'm excited that I get to interview her. Are you ready? I guess I'm ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> you got me nervous. And well, and, and this is our dog Louie. This is Louie. He's gonna be sitting here. He he needs a lot of attention. So much like his father. <laughs> <laughs> so he has to be sitting here in somebody's lap. So he's a lap dog. But anyways, back to the interview. I'm very excited and she's ready, so we're gonna jump right into I didn't it. I say I was ready. I just uh, said I'd do it. <laughs> so you guys asked some great questions, and I want to say thank you for submitting your questions. Actually, baby, you had some, I mean, I think it was the most, if not the most, almost the most questions I've ever received for an interview. So you guys really came out, and you really shot a lot of questions out there at us, so we're going to try to get as many of them in as we can. First question is, well... It, no one really, well, yeah, some people asked this, several people did, and they want to know how we met. Okay. Well, um, when I was 22, no, when I was, when I was. I mean, I know how we met, but I don't know how old we were. <laughs> when I was 18, I met him while traveling with my father who's an evangelist that specializes in children's ministry and the church that we were at where they were actually holding three different events so they had the youth revival going on in one section that was like at another location of the building and then they also had the missions conference which is where he was singing with sold out that he was sold out quartet that he was with at the time right and my father was there doing the kids' vacation Bible school, and I traveled with him during the summertime and, and helped him with that. And um, we were setting up and getting ready for that first night, and they had already sound checked and set up, and we're just coming in uh, to say hi because they saw all these kids' fun stuff coming in and <laughs> they were like moths to flame <laughs> it was the toys that attracted me to her so her dad so, he, he does a lot of vacation bible schools and stuff like that so he had a bunch of just different types of toys and kids stuff that yeah. attracts kids you know like real colorful stuff There's a bunch big of blow up big games yeah big blow up games magic some, tricks yeah and he had like a illusions yeah i mean it was it was a lot of stuff that just grabs your attention as a yeah immature guy you know so he came in and it was love at first sight everyone <laughs> well that's actually one of the questions <laughs> david smith asked that he said was it love at first sight it so was it was love at first sight his red hair got me at that time i'm a sucker for red hair and he came in with his red hair and i was just well <laughs> I'm surprised she still loves me now that my hair is falling out and losing its color. I still love you, though. I still love you, She too. had no comment for a second there. <laughs> but speaking of red hair, we have a son. Mm -hmm. His name is Grayson. He is two years old. And uh, my question for you, for Grayson, is... Wait, I thought they just got to ask questions. No. Uh... I, I get to ask questions as we go along as well. <sighs> my question is... What is the cutest thing that you've seen Grayson do? Oh, wow. Um, what's your cutest thing that he's done? Probably the first time he said, da, da. Aw, yeah. yeah. That was an easy one you picked. Yeah. 
answer. Okay. The cutest thing. Or maybe one of the top three cutest things. I love it when he points at something that's caught his eye and he goes, oh, wow. And then he'll go, look, 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 which is his look, 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 yeah. look, look. And it's really cute. Most of the time he's pointing at airplanes or trains or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. But I think that's really cute when well, he, he does that. He did that when I took Grace to the Toys R Us. And those of you who our parents or have been parents have taken your kids to Toys R Us, you know that when you're going in, you don't really know what to expect because you're afraid that your kid will never want to leave. And when you make <laughs> him leave, he's going to cry for hours. So he saw a, one of those little mo motorized uh, power, kids, wheels. Ca power wheel cars. Yeah. And he did exactly that. He went, oh, wow. And he ran right up to it and he was going, look, look, look. And so I had to put him in there. I got his picture. Those of you who follow me on Facebook, you might have even seen the picture. It was really cute. So maybe he's that'll be his cute. first car. But so anyways, we have a redhead son. So all of that, he's he's a cute kid, and uh, we love him. So next question is from Michael Mays. Thank you, Michael, for your question. And he wants to know, do you sing? I do sing. I do. I actually teach private voice and piano lessons, and I have a degree in uh, a Bachelor's of Arts in Music. Um, took me forever to get it, but I got it. <laughs> so, <laughs> and now I've got a bill to pay the <laughs> and prove that I've got it. <laughs> so, but we've got that piece yes, of paper. But we've got that piece of paper. Amen. <laughs> Should be gold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next question. Marnie, uh, I'm sorry for the last name, Carothers. Carothers. She wants to know what your favorite song is. Ooh, what my favorite song is. Not specifically what her favorite song is that like I sing or that Legacy 5 does, but what just in general, what's your favorite song? Um, my favorite song that I think I just love the words behind is um, um, In the Presence. Um, is that, is it? You want to give a little sample? No. It, I think the Martins did it a while back, and I think it's in the presence of Jehovah. And I just love the words um, of the song. So I think that sure. that's the one that I, I I always come back to. I just love that song. So The dog is a little distracting to me. He's licking her hand. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. This is the first time it's ever happened in an interview. <laughs> kind of weird. You mean you don't have people that just randomly lick your hand? In an Not, oh, no dogs. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> okay, so, you know, since you do sing, I thought it would be neat if we did a duet. No? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Okay, next question. Daniel Mount wants to know, what's the funniest thing you've ever seen me do on stage? Oh, uh, on stage... On stage. You've done so many that I don't know the funniest thing. There was one time you missed an entrance and it caught you off guard and it, your entire face showed from it, which is totally, totally unlike you to yeah. miss an entrance. And... For it to show on his face. He might miss an interest. You just might not know it. Yeah. So, he's... Yes. Yeah. I but can usually I, get away with it. I don't know. What's the funniest thing you think you've ever done on stage? I don't know. That's mm -hmm. why we're asking you the questions. Next question. <laughs> Daniel Mount also... He would also wants to know, do you like beards? Do I like beards? Well, Daniel Mount... It depends on what kind of beard you're talking about. Because if you're talking about these Duck Dynasty kind of beards, nah, nah. I ain't got time for those. And um, if you had one, you'd wake up one morning without it. <laughs> I, I've actually worn a beard for a decent amount of our marriage. I don't mind beards when they're soft. But when it's beards that are like this whole sandpaper stuff, I ain't got time for that. It's like leaning in to kiss sandpaper. It's just... It's just rough, guys. It's just, just tell it to grow out faster. Get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. So there I you mean, go, Daniel. Your ladies don't like it when it's sandpaper. Well, okay. Yeah, see? See? 
I mean, sandpaper? No. Hey, we're we're all about uh, preserving and saving marriages and relationships here with, on the couch yeah. with Fouch. So, so just, if that little tip maybe helps you in your relationship, that's great. You know, log it away. Otherwise, delete it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. All right. So several people have also asked, um, what is your favorite thing to do for family time when I'm home? For family time. Oh. Or your favorite thing to do as a family. As a family. Mm, just like like in special, like a special outing or just, just in, like every day? Just in general. The question was... Okay. So my favorite thing is at nighttime when we put Grayson down, um, Matthew grabs this big blanket um, and him and Grayson... Uh, we'll get underneath of it and play peekaboo sometimes or they wrestle in the bedroom and it's like our last family moment together and we'll pray and read books and we'll sing and just have sweet family time there for 20 30 minutes mm -hmm. so and Grayson gets so excited um, he hasn't here recently but he used to when he saw us grab the blanket he'd squeal at the top of his lungs <laughs> and he'd take off running towards the bedroom because he knew it was coming so that would be my like favorite everyday family moment mm -hmm. so yeah if we're talking every day that's my favorite yeah. family moment cool. yeah that we that's do. one of my favorite moments as well i enjoy doing that it's a lot of fun so this next question is the most uh <laughs> peculiar question i've ever seen in the comments uh, on Facebook oh. when people have asked questions for an interview and Stephen Smith he's not submitted a question before until now and his question is what was it like finding your cat in the freezer as a little girl okay so this is a long story and please don't Shorten hold it this up. against our family. <laughs> don't but, call the animal abuse. People. Don't call the animal abuse and don't look at me and my family odd for this. <laughs> desperate times come for desperate measures. Yeah. So first of all, Stephen Smith, and you know this, but I did not find the cat in the freezer. I almost did when I was going to get a popsicle after getting back and my mom lit me up in conversation with very harsh tones of do not be getting into my deep freeze without my permission. Unbeknownst to me, my poor kitty cat of like 12 or 13 years had passed away in the middle of winter. And my dad was on a missions trip at the time in the Philippines and he was gone for like two and a half weeks and there was like a blizzard that had come through and the ground was completely frozen and there's nowhere to put this cat. Where are we going to put this cat? So to keep it from, you know, reeking to the heavens, <laughs> we so classy like <laughs> wrapped it up in tons and tons. Well, we, I say we, I didn't. My mom put it in tons and tons and tons and tons of trash bags, you know, sanitary, <laughs> and put it in the deep freeze. And, uh, and closed it up in there until springtime when we could bury it because this was like, you know, my precious cat. I'd had this cat since I was like two or three, so. So maybe we should have asked your mom if she cared that we asked this question. So, yeah, we probably should have. <laughs> <laughs> we probably most wow. certainly should have. But you know what? As a mom now, I think I kind of understand, I don't, I, you know, I mean, I can't say that because I don't know if I'd ever put a cat in a freezer. Yeah. But my, so, my mom so when you're asking me, you're getting dinner ready. Like, hey, Matt, will you, Matthew, will you go and <laughs> get in a deep freezer? You'll find Louie. <laughs> <steak. laughs> <laughs> it's, it's right next to Louie. <laughs> Where's the dog, honey? <laughs> He's oh, going wow. missing. That is wow. one of the best stories we've had on the couch with Fouch. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Thank you, Steve. And, that. Yes. That's Thank good. you, Stephen Smith. <laughs> That's great. We're, we're so generous. So, uh, another has to do with your parents. Rob Bronk wants to know: Were you ever your dad's sidekick in any of his magic yes. or his any of his illusions? Yes, I was. Steve is her father, and um, like he she can, said earlier, he does 
uh, evangelistic yeah. work, uh, specializing in children's ministry. And part of what he does, which we also talked about earlier, is illusions. Um, and so that's why Rob is asking that. So what, what tricks did or what illusions did you do with him? I did several with him. There were several that um, that I would have to participate. There was one called Metamorphosis, which is originally done by um, Harry Houdini, um, which is um, Google it, YouTube, <laughs> save time. <laughs> and then there was another one that I did um, that was called the Zigzag Lady, and it was basically like being cut in half. Um, and then other ones where I would just you know, come out and participate in things, and... <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, wow. Wow. Pigeon? Cool. There you go. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the answer there. So, now it's time for the Fouch Zone. Here we go, baby. You have a certain unspecified amount of time to answer the questions. If you do not answer the questions in the amount of time, we go to the next question. Are you ready? The first question is, what was the original color of Coke? Red. Time. Percent of American men who would marry the same woman again. Time. Percent of American women who would marry the same man again. Time. Uh, cost of raising a medium-sized dog to the age of 11. Time. And the first novel written on a typewriter was? Bum, 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 Not even a guess. <laughs> All right, so would you like to know the answers to your questions? Sure. All right. The original color of Coke was green. Well, um, that's unsettling. And the percent of American men who would marry the same woman again was 80%. So you got an 8 out of 10 chance. <laughs> the percent of American women who would marry the same man again was higher or lower? Lower. 50%. <laughs> My odds are way lower. 50% <laughs> chance. Uh, the cost of raising a medium sized dog to the age of 11 is. No guess? A good amount, but ours is small, so medium sized? $6,400. I was going to guess eight, so yep. probably. Yeah. And the first novel written on a typewriter was. Tom Sawyer. Huh. Who would have thought? So there you go. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of On the Couch with Fouch. Bye. On behalf of Louie and Candace, say you guys have a great week. <laughs> and, um, you know, we'll see you somewhere out there on the road. But thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Appreciate it. Bye.